Sometimes the struggle is getting the patient in the door where you have populations who indirectly or directly they could be experiencing homelessness, they could just be experiencing a, you know, a rough patch in their life. But having a more stable like one shot can allow them to not take a break in that health care for themselves. Sometimes, you know, a patient may come in and they'll have one thing going on, but the things that we're seeing can be caused by other issues where we're able to send them to the other aspects of the team-based care umbrella to make sure that they get the help that they need. We've had one individual recently who had been out of oral health care for over 10 years. So they started out with an oral health visit and then quickly realized, I have the benefit of seeing not only a therapist, but also a medical provider and all in the same building without have a, having to travel to different locations. They've connected with the therapist and are now actively engaged in counseling and have also started engaging in medication. Their medication adherence was non-existent and for the condition that they have, it was something that was really detrimental and really not playing in their favor. And we're happy to say that this individual is not only sticking with our panel and their care team, but they're on their way to good holistic health. We take care of amazing patients, but they also have a lot of needs based on their economic situations, their immigration, what's going on in their lives. And being part of a team and practicing team-based care allows us to meet the needs of those patients in a more well-rounded way. We've all came together um, from working from just the provider to wanting to find an outcome to having a patient navigator sit down with their patient and ask them, you know, what can we do for you? How can we help you? The front desk, you know, being accessible to answer any questions, to have somebody outside the clinician be able to provide these resources. Patients appreciate that and see that it's not just one person that they can get the answer from, but it can be multiple people because we are all on the same page. The patient come, they know the team. They know the names, they know the providers. You know the name of your medical assistant, your car navigator, all the other doctors around. Say their care is really well, well managed, so they only come in like every six to 12 months. But they're seeing the dentist too. Maybe they have a therapist that they're seeing every week or every other week. And so those contact points are a lot more frequent, and especially by bringing behavioral health in, you know, we get to hear about our clients' lives in a very uniquely intimate way that physicians and dentists and other healthcare providers don't, quite frankly, don't have the time for. And so by integrating us into that and making the therapists feel more connected to the clinic, I think the clients are also more connected to the clinic. Everybody goes to a supermarket, right? So if you had a health based you know, version of a supermarket, you would go there, right? Just in terms of convenience, which can sometimes help in patient retention. Well, I think if we take that kind of same concept and apply that to the patient experience, that's a really a huge benefit. If we're looking at equity, regardless if you're in community health or private practice, or in a regional location, suburbs or otherwise, team-based care makes it that the patient experience is equal regardless of who you are, where you're coming from, and where you're going to get the care.